Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2018. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's theCUBE live here in Las Vegas with the Venetian. I'm John Furrier, the co-host of theCUBE. We're at Informatica World 2018 with Peter Burris, analyst at Wikibon and SiliconANGLE on theCUBE. Our next guest is Dave Green, Senior Director of IT Informatics, Genomic Health. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, great These to be here. You guys are doing a ton of data, so we want to get into it. Very cool, obviously, a lot of, a lot of testing, a lot of proprietary work. You know, this is where the power of data can come in, but first, before we get into it, just take a quick minute to describe the company, what you do there, and what the, what the mission is. Absolutely, yep. So I work for Genomic Health. The company was founded in the year 2000, and it was founded on the premise there was a lot of science and technology around the areas of genetic testing, but it hadn't been applied to the world of cancer and cancer specifically. Uh, so we launched the first product on the market in 2004 and it's focused on breast cancer. Based in the US, and the job the company has is to really help the physician sit down with the patient and inform the treatment decision that the physician and patient have to make together. So the situation is, let's use breast cancer again. A woman's been diagnosed with, with breast cancer. Um, they'll often go for a, a biopsy. The cancer cells are actually extracted from the body. We get a sample of those in our lab. We run through a lot of diagnostic testing and based upon a lot of clinical research, um, evidence and studies we've done over the years, there's a lot of data there in itself, um, we can help predict the likelihood of recurrence of cancer over five years, 10 years, based upon different types of treatment options. And we basically, even though we do diagnostic testing, we're really an information provider, an information company, it's the way we see ourselves. Uh, and it's, the idea is to sit down, um, have the physician sit down with the patient, we, we deliver a, a report at the end of the day. So all this testing, all the data crunching, everything we do, ends up with a relatively simple report. There's a risk curve, and based upon that, different types of treatment options make sense for the patient. So it may be a woman deciding, do I need chemotherapy, yes or no? Well, chemotherapy is incredibly expensive from a healthcare economics perspective. Uh, it's incredibly invasive in terms of side effects. You know, people know about hair loss, but there's a ton of other really, really detrimental side effects too. Um, so if there's no clinical benefit from going through chemotherapy, we can help inform that decision, right? Give the patient confidence that no, it's the right thing to do. I'm on a certain side of the risk curve. Or there may be better options. Uh, drug therapies these days. There's, there's, every single day there's a new drug coming on the market to combat certain types of cancer in some way. So that's our job. Um, that's and what's, what, what are do. you doing with the data? So what's the strategic initiatives around data? Obviously data is key to this because you need right. to analyze data, but just give us an order of magnitude, a taste or a sample of some of the things that you're doing with data. Right, so I mean, we're growing as a company. It's a growing space. Unfortunately, there's more and more people throughout the world with, with cancer every day. Uh, we're growing internationally too. So we have, we have data that we receive from all over the world. Um, in terms of some of the key initiatives we, we have underway, so we're, we're doing a lot more in the, in the, the space of partnering. We've built up a commercial infrastructure over the course of, of years, and that commercial infrastructure goes with the IT infrastructure that, that matches to it. Um, so we're using that commercial channel to really expand uh, the number of tests we're able to bring to market. And we do that by partnering with smaller labs. They're not able to build the same infrastructure themselves, so we can use all of the capabilities that we built up, bring them into our ecosystem, and extend the, the reach that we have to bring in other types of product tests. Um, so when we look at things like, like data, one of the, the initiatives we're underway right now because it's a very difficult space to operate. Right? Healthcare is incredibly complex from a data perspective. It's messy, there are people involved, there's humans involved. Um, literally we're all unique, we're all individual. Mm -hmm. um, the job we have, and, and in many of these, these cases where we bring in third part, party labs as well, is to take care of all of the, the processing of the commercial and clinical related information we need to get from patients. We need to move through and make sure we, we get the right information the first time through. Um, and we use that, that information then to trigger the rest of the testing process. So it's both clinical, and it's business, it's related to healthcare insurance providers, um, government mandated information we have to collect as well. We've got to bring all these different facets together. A lot of moving parts and dynamics. What's the relationship with Informatica? Customer using which products? Can you just take a minute yep. to explain? Absolutely, yeah, we're, we're a customer. Um, the couple main products we use. So we use that master data management Product. It's very important for us that we know and recognize the right physician, right? The physician is linked to the patient. We've got to get that right. We've got to have accurate That's information. A That's a big one, yeah. And we use that for the older information we get in, and we also use it for the, for the billing side too. So important, ultimately we, we get paid because we want to reinvest in our patients. We want to yeah. grab more, more tests. Um, that's one angle. So it's a critical component of the business model. It, it's, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's mission critical. If we get that wrong, the rest, forget the rest of the, te forget the science, the technology, all the cool stuff we do, it's a basic fundamental thing we have to get right. Well, you didn't just blow a campaign, you blew a life. Uh, yeah, yeah, or 
Oh, at least we're slowing down getting the right information, the actual Company's information. Reputation, I mean, brands. everything dominoes will just fall. It's, it's incredibly important for us to get right. That's, that's, that's still the one thing we got from, from Informatica. Um, the other we, we partnered with them from is where we, we look at the integrations between the different applications that we have. Uh, we have some data that we have to process on premise. Uh, we have a laboratory information system. That's real time critical processing. It's interfacing with robots in the lab and things like this. So that's got to interface with the likes of Salesforce, which is our CRM, which is where we receive our information and where we get the clinical information from uh, the physician on behalf of the patient. These things have to connect together. The data has to integrate. We have to make sense of it. Uh, we have to logically know what information is flowing through what business process throughout the company. And we use Informatica um, to be able to do that as well. Well, healthcare is at the vanguard of so many things. It's the vanguard of ethics because of the role that people play. It's at the vanguard of big data. Uh, it was one of the first clear, you know, broadly understood, the, 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 the drive to understand the genome was fundamentally a big data problem. People said, wow, I didn't realize that we could do that with data. Right. It's also at the vanguard of understanding the relationship between analog and digital and the fact that this is all an analog experience that has to be turned into a digital experience so we could do things with it. You must watch much of what's going on around here and say, yeah, we've gone through that. What kind of advice and counsel can you give to folks who are perhaps just entering into new ways of thinking about using data, new ways of applying data, new ways of understanding that relationship between analog and digital? How would you advise your peers to think differently? Yeah, so one of the things I've, I've certainly noted in, in walking around and talking to some of my, my peers at Informatica World this week was just um, a little bit of some of the frustration actually from the technical side. And that becomes because they see the technical solutions, they see the, the data and the opportunity, but what we've not done in, in many cases, I think as technologists, is be able to explain that to the, the business people that we're working with and, and establishing that business partnership. So I think um, being patient, um, looking to educate, looking for quick wins, opportunities to show what data can do, how transformative you know, data can be in terms of how business people work every single day. Um, the connection I've certainly seen in my company, no different. Um, it's somewhat ironic that we, we have this treasure trove of clinical information that, that we've, we've built up over time. We've not been looking on our business and the way we run our business the same way. So in, in some ways we've been able to, so well, we do it in this area, in the clinical space, let's replicate that and transform and bring it through to the business side too. Evidence-based business management. Exactly right, yeah. So I think being persistent, looking for the ability to educate, looking for quick wins, and looking to, to use the technology to show what's possible, help lead the way, and, and be consistent and patient on that journey too. And it's a journey, it's not a one project, it's not a, I just bring in a tool, life is good, it has to be much more than that. And, and so that's, that's what I've learned at least and what, what I've seen since I've been here Dave, this week. Dave, thanks for taking the time to come on theCUBE and share the sure story. Uh, genomic health, great work, growing, international. They got data challenges, they're solving them and they're getting, they have to get them right. And uh, this is, we're hearing more of this. Great, great story, thank you for coming Appreciate on. It. Thank I'm you. John Furrier, Peter Burris here for day two of coverage of Informatica World. Stay with us, we'll be back after this break.